Another thing you can do with Logo Diffusion is turn any image into a 2D illustration or a 3D illustration. To give you an example, I'm going to show you how we're going to turn this image of basketball player into a 2D illustration. So I'm going to put image influence at four, use color images, put a yes, and creative freedom, let's do four, and with thick outline for edge detection. And for the prompt, I'm going to do something like minimalist illustration, basketball player, African-American, and I'm going to do one bolt for minimalist illustration. Let's do two bolts for basketball player and one bolt for African-American. Then I'm going to click on minimalist. Make sure we have 2D selected and click on generate. So you can see we got this result. Um, all of these images show the player smiling, even though the image is not smiling. So what we can control that is we can scroll down and just in the negative prompt box here, just write the word smiling. And then let's hit generate again. Writing that word in the negative prompt is going to make sure that we're not going to have images with a smiling character in it to kind of match the original input. All right, so now we got this image that looks pretty close to the input image. What we can do, if you want to like change it even further, we can just click use as inspiration. And it's going to update the image with the 2D result here. Let's do edit. And then using the, the brushes, we can just copy the color from the jersey. Uh, let's say we want to remove the logos and just keep it like an empty jersey. We can just do this and save the changes. Now we can just increase the image influence and lower the creative freedom to round one to make sure that AI the AI doesn't add any extra uh, stuff that we don't need. And then just click generate again. And as you can see, we got results without logos or any uh, words on the jersey. Now, I've loaded the image again, and I can also turn it into a 3D illustration. So all I have to do is click on the 3D button here and maybe change the first prompt. Instead of minimalist illustration, let's write something like Pixar character. Let's remove the minimalist style and click generate. So you can see we got these results that kind of took the original image and turned it into a Pixar kind of 3D character. In this image, we have the player with a goatee. And that's another thing that we can control with negative prompts. So we can just go down to advanced settings, go to negative prompts and just write the word goatee. Close it down and just run the same. Make sure that we freeze the seed to make sure that it's going to redo the exact same uh, render but with the negative prompt applied. So let's click generate. You can see we got this result without the goatee, which shows the level of control you can get uh, with working with Logo Diffusion.